Hello, this is Bishop Manico. Thank you for coming by. Welcome to Bishop's Corner. I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about <clears throat> something that's on my heart. Uh, I was sparked by uh, uh, watching the confirmation hearings of our recently um, selected Supreme Court Justice Katani Jackson. Uh, I was watching her confirmation hearings and during her hearing uh, she was asked a question uh, that was a fairly direct question regarding what is a woman. And uh, I was a little bit taken back by her seeming unwillingness at first to directly answer the question. And then she actually uh, said that she couldn't answer the question because she's not a biologist. And I was taken back by that. Here we have someone who we're going to put in almost the highest authority that there is over us in this country. And this person was not willing to speak truthfully about what, and factually, about what a woman is. Though, so could it be that she was confused at what a woman was, or what could it be that she didn't want to politically offend someone and say something that someone would not agree with and you know, you know cause their feelings to be hurt? Because you know, we live in a day now... <clears throat> Where offending people is almost the, the biggest sin you could ever commit to to hurt someone's feelings or tell them you disagree with them is extremely um, looked at as a very bad thing in our society today. Uh, so I'm not sure what her motivation was other than she felt she could not directly, honestly answer the question. I don't know what we think is going to happen when we put people who won't directly and honestly tell the truth. Uh, and this is not about her party, this is not about politics at this point, it's about truth. And her inability to just tell the truth, but she's not going to be the arbiter and adjudicator of truth according to our laws, I think probably doesn't bode well for us as a nation. But that being said, my real concern was she only brought to, I think, the forefront the thing that's going on in our world today where they're working very hard and very quickly, if you haven't paid attention, to redefine the family. They're working very hard and very quickly to change the definitions so that a man can mean whatever you want it to mean and a woman can mean whatever you want it to mean. But you and I know from reading the Bible that from the beginning, that was not so. Before there was a church, before there was a family, before there was a nation, before there were governments, God created the family. He created the family in Genesis 1, 26 through 28. God made man and women. He made the man distinct from the woman and the woman distinct from the man. And he put them together in a marital relationship and told them to uh, replenish the earth, be fruitful. That means to have children and to fill the earth with other human beings who would then be able to reflect his glory. That was the original design for mankind, according to the Bible. And that was the original design for Adam and for Eve, the male and the female of the species. We've come so far from that now. We've come even to the place now where we do not apparently regard God's design as being that important. Indeed, folks will tell you today that gender in of itself is just a social construct. Well, I, I want to let you know that it's not a social construct. It is actually something that's foundational to the construction of a stable and effectively functioning society. And so we need to decide who is going to set the rules in terms of what those truths are, and who's going to set the rules on what those constructs are, which we're going to try to build a world that is beneficial to all of us. You see, the husband, wife, father mother relationship according to god these are the pillars of which all society was meant to stand you knock those out you cannot help but see society begin to fall and i would suggest to you that that's what we're seeing right now one by one we begin to knock away those pillars knock away the pillar of what it means to be a husband what it means to be a wife what it means to be a father, what it means to be a mother, what it means to be a family. As we slowly but surely pull out those pillars, we see that the society is beginning to crumble and fall apart right before our eyes. 
The family was meant to be the bedrock. It was meant to be that thing upon which everything else stood. It was meant to be the bulwark. A bulwark is something that once you have something built, it strengthens it, it fortifies it, it and it sustains it. That was the role of the what we used to call the nuclear family. Uh, just for grins and giggles, I went to the Encyclopedia Britannia, but Britannia, and I, I looked up nuclear family, and what did I find? I, I find that they've changed the definition of the nuclear family. The nuclear family used to be defined as father and mother in a marriage with children. That, that's what the nuclear family used to be. You go there now, and they have in there adults with children in a home. Adults with children in a home. And, and so you see that they, that they have so watered down God's definition of a family uh, to the point where it could just be whatever they want it to be. In fact, that's what we see going on in our world today. They want the family to be whatever you feel like it, it should be or whatever you want it to be. My concern is this. We are not smart enough to change God's design and do it in such a manner that it's going to function better than how he originally created it. It is very foolish on our part. It, it is very um, um, arrogant on our part to try to change what God has set up as the way that he wanted us to live and the way that he want, wanted us to function. Um, so over the course of the next few weeks, I want to sort of kind of dig into this a little bit. We'll, we'll talk about a little bit what God's design was and what happened. How did, how did we get this way? Um, I, I welcome your questions, your comments. I'll, I'll leave the comment section open below of the video. Feel free to comment or question, have questions. Uh, I'd be happy to address them. But we, we got to talk about this whole thing about men and women. We've got to talk about what God intended and what we can do to try to get back to that place that he had originally set up. So I hope you'll come back and join in the conversation with me. I hope you come back and we can continue this dialogue. Um, but my time right now is up. And, and I do thank you for years, yours. So until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.